<sighs> what a ride. Hey everyone, I'm Sasha, your host of Hometown Headlines, presented by Cenex. I was just getting ready for the Cavalier motorcycle ride in. For 24 years, this festival has brought over 2,500 bikers and 4,000 visitors to the small town of Cavalier, North Dakota. Attractions include a scavenger hunt, street dances, burnout contests, and delicious food, all centered around the businesses on Main Street. But it's not just about the bikes. The community always finds a way to give back by donating all raffle proceeds to local North Dakota charities. They received a hometown pride grant from Cenex that was used to replace speakers on Main Street and repair buildings downtown. It's almost paddlefish season in Glendive, Montana, one of the few places in North America where you can partake in the sport. The highly regulated season opens on May 15th and closes when 1,000 fish have been caught. Now, some years it takes weeks, other years it takes just days. Let's hear from the anglers. Just a fascinating story about a fascinating fish. You know, this is hard, muddy work. It's not for the faint of heart in the sense you're lobbing out big, heavy weights and you're ripping these rods all day. And just a really cool and somewhat exotic fishing experience for a lot of people. Fish on, boys! Fish on! This has uh, been a dream and now I've done it. This unique tradition earned the Frontier Gateway Museum a hometown pride grant from Cenex. The grant will help the museum record the history of Glendive and its famous fishing tradition. Maybe one day they'll feature my big catch. <clears throat> yeah. Well, gotta go. Don't forget to follow Senex on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch more videos and learn how we give back to Senex communities just like yours. Till next time. <laughs>